And there's a back story, now, well, not a front story, really. When you went on this first foreign assignment, your pictures were noticed by the President of the United States. They were. This is the main image. So you saw the Newsweek cover, and then Time did their own version. And this is a photograph that took place. Noriega lost the election. He nullified the election. And the would-be victors came out onto the streets to start an uprising. And I wound up being uh, the only photographer shooting color that day and was able to take this photograph of the vice president-elect. He's the one covered in blood. He had been, his bodyguard had been killed trying to protect him, lying on top of him, and he was stabbed. He was stabbed in the arm. And this was my you know, first exposure to, to violence. And uh, what, what was kind of amusing in, in a very odd way, in, in these very difficult situations, there's always sort of odd things that happen. And so while the vice president was sort of stumbling around, and I was photographing him. I heard somebody say, con permiso, excuse me in Spanish. And it was this paramilitary guy who was asking to step around me so he could beat up the vice president. Oh my goodness. Well, listen, while this is going on, you have no survival training, as we call it today, right? None whatsoever. No military training. None. And people are being stabbed, well, are being killed. Yes. Were you thinking that maybe your life is in danger? At, the, at that particular moment, I didn't really understand what incoming uh, fire sounded like. I only realized later when I heard it another time, I was like, oh, now I remember this sound. So no, this was complete baptism by fire and, and very, very fortunate. How did you know what to do in terms of composition, color, uh, angles, how, how did you know where to, where to stand, what to shoot? How, how, did, how did it come to you? Well, that's hopefully where my skills as a photographer comes in, and these are things that I think of very consciously, using these photographic aesthetics in order to, uh, to capture a photograph, to have, to have real meaning. And what's really amazing, I, I think, about this particular photograph is that you see there's a soldier standing in the back doing nothing. And there are two movie posters, a James Bond poster and a Sean Connery movie. And the titles in Spanish are, His Name is Danger and The Hour of the Hero. And they're perfectly framed underneath the arm of, of the vice president. So sometimes you get kind of all of those different elements come together to really take the photograph to another level. You, you knew that that poster said those things when you took that image? I'll say I did. <laughs> <laughs> before, we, before we leave Panama, tell me about the president's comment about your image. Well. When this photograph came out, I had all the covers of the magazines. I was about 22 years old, and it really this was- This is your first cover on, on a First covers, yeah. uh, first real story. And I was kind of like, this photojournalism thing is really not that hard. You, you go somewhere, you take pictures, you get covers of magazines. And it was all like nobody had ever heard of me before, and it was all really about me, about my career, and what I can do, and so on. But six months later, when the United States invaded <coughs> Panama, and President Bush spoke to the nation as um, the US, as the troops were coming in. I, I was with the troops, so I didn't see the, the speech until later. But when I heard it, everything kind of switched. That it wasn't about me, it wasn't about covers, it wasn't about awards. It was about the stories that we tell. It was about the people in the photographs. And it was about playing this role in providing information and communication so you can make better decisions on who you vote for, what you think about the world. And it was like kind of understanding the role, and my role as a photographer, in an entirely different way. What did the president say about your, your picture? He said, uh, to paraphrase, we all remember these horrible pictures of uh, Vice President-elect uh, Guillermo Ford being beaten up by a so-called Dignity Battalion, which was the name of the uh, paramilitary group. And then he went on to explain uh, you know, the reasons why the US was uh, invading. Mm -hmm.